everybody. It is Saturday, August, August, September, <laughs> September 9th, I believe. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to do, I'm so behind on videos and recording. I think just summer, you know, summer gets to be busy. And so what I want to start off with um, today, I will be going into other my other videos will be more on my planners and journals and working in them and but I just kind of want to do an overall view once more um, of my pens my fountain pens and inks and cartridges and um, do a color swatch on a new ink and just kind of a catch-up on my pens some of this is old information from me and some is new so yesterday I cleaned all of my pens. So here is, here are the ones I cleaned. So all the ones I had ink. Well, I had all my fountain pens inked up. There's more pens besides these. But um, <clears throat> then I went on vacation for almost two weeks. And I mostly brought only I brought two pens only so when I came back um, after about a week I checked my other fountain pens and almost all of them were dried up so I did a really good washing I've got <clears throat> for cleaning my fountain pens <clears throat> excuse me I, I ordered from this company called ultimate pen polish um, and they have a cleaner and really good instructions on how to use it, of course, which is very important when you're when you're cleaning your pans. Um, and this tube. So what you do is you fill, this is the concentrate, and this lasts a long time. You fill this up all the way or to the 50 milliliter line with hot water and then you put in two or three drops of this pen flush concentrate. And first you kind of soak your nibs in hot water. I forgot to get water. Ugh. In hot water, um, just to soften them up. Sometimes I'll just kind of flush out the nib. Um, then when it's softened up, I flush it out with the converter and the nib. Oh, probably two or three times and then you put it in here and you pull up the liquid into here like into your pan and then you just set it aside and let it sit for five minutes and you repeat that two or three times as necessary and then once you have done that what you do is you rinse it um, you pull it up with just clean hot water two or three times, rinsing it out. Um, for most of them, that worked fine. I had a few that obviously needed more attention, so I did take care of those. I am not going to fill these with ink, except I think one of them. And I've got it, I have a new color coming, so I'm going to save one. I decided I'm only going to use two, maybe three inks, f inked up fountain pens. Um, in my planners and journals um, as far as my daily planning daily journaling that's what I'm talking about I have pens that I use for other things and they're always inked up what I have inked up at the moment um, because it's fall I want to do fall well actually first before I ink up anything let's just put these back together this one is going to stay unused until my new copper color comes and then I will put that copper color in here and that will be used with in conjunction with this sepia brown sepia that I have so I'm just going to put those there I'm going to kind of put my all my pins in a row this I'm not putting anything in um, so we're just going to cap it and leave it here and I'll go over what each of these pens are I'm just kind of gonna put them by color at this point so I have a green and I'll probably use my greens um, at Christmas time 
and I'll go over what each of these pins are shortly so you know what they are. And this one, of course, will probably be Christmas time with the green as well. And this one, I usually use purple for this pen. Oh, I feel like I've got, did I forget to put the, here. I'm like, what? This is missing something. <laughs> Might need the converter in here. There we go. This one then becomes my purple. And this is one I got engraved with my name on it. And this one also is for a purple, a different shade of purple. Purple maybe for January, right? I feel like maybe January would be good for purple. Here's my pink, my Sakura. I'm sure I pronounce all these wrong. Cherry Blossom, pan, and pinks go in here. And of course, pink goes in here as well. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. This has a cartridge in it. And I'm gonna put the clear one here, right there. And that is also a cartridge. Cartridge ones seem to last a long time, which is fantastic. This one's kind of messy. I'm gonna to have to clean it, obviously. It's gotten really messy. Um, so I didn't clean those, so I, I probably need to. Then I've got this one, which is a really thick, thicker one, and so I like to do thicker things in here. And I'm thinking of trying my shimmer ink again and just trying it in here because that's kind of a pretty brown coppery color as well which i really like using this time of year because it's fall okay and then i've got this platinum which i do have a piston for but generally i think i would use a um, I'd probably use cartridges. I think I've actually got another piston for the platinum. Let me look. I have a lot of different, um, yeah, this is my platinum. I think this is just the box. Yeah, this is just the box of the converter. And I, I was thinking I had two platinum. I've got a bunch of cross. Um, this is cross, this is sailor. I've got some pilot converters. I must have only gotten one platinum pan converter because um, yeah, I don't use that one as much. Okay, so then this is a new one. This is a cross, and I have had no luck finding a converter for it, so right now it's just got a um, cartridge. This one I got free through a rewards program that I have. Um, so, didn't have to pay for that one. Not even shipping, actually. And then I have these, so just let me add these in. This is kind of a special and then I have these, and I use these every day. These are the Pilot, and I use them in conjunction with this one every single day. And you can't see that, I see that now. So let's bring that down so you can see it. And now um, <clears throat> I've written what every pen is in it here, except my new, my two new ones. Um, so this, this is a Hobonichi cover. 
This is just for lists, mostly packing and stuff like that. And this is a day free Techo. I think this is just a no a notebook. This is just a Hoboniji notebook. And this is a Techo day free. And um, it's my ink journal. So I think I have a fountain pen list. Yeah, right here. And I actually, I don't think I've got all my pens in here, but let's start with these first. So I'm going to just set all these aside. Well, actually, I was going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 regular fountain pens. I don't classify this as a typical fountain pen, so I'm just going to count those. So I'm going to move those aside, bring this over, and just go through the pens. So here are the first four. These are my very first pens, fountain pens, and I've talked about these many times. And they are um, Pilot Metro, the MR Metro, Retro, excuse me, Retro Pop. And they're all a 1.0 nib, a fine point, um, stainless steel colors. So we have purple. I use colored inks in these too. Purple. And we have the seep orange, I guess it's called, green and turquoise. And I use, I have this little acrylic case with my cartridges. So I do use, I've got most of them somewhere else where I use them, but I buy the Pilot uh, Namiki brand. So I have, um, I think I have my ink my currently inked I probably have them in here yeah here's the purple and here is the sepia green I have not written in yet but here is the green so I have to put that in and um, I think do I have it further maybe I have it here Pilot Metro, yeah, I didn't get the green in. I was, I, um, I do have to get the actual green. I don't know why I put Pelican. Oh, I had a converter in these for a bit, and then I just, I basically, I changed my mind. So, um, yeah, I have to redo this, this list, of course. So, the green, though, if you want to see the green... Oh, I'll show it to you written down. Okay, so what I use these for every day, and this, this is a calligraphy. It's a Lacool, it's not a Lacool, sorry. It's a Sailor. Um, and do I have a name for it? I don't think I put it in here. Look at that list. I have not updated my list at all. So if I go to Currently Inked, Sometimes I put these in here. I'm just gonna see if I did. It usually helps. I'm surprised I don't have this listed. But this is actually a, um, calligraphy pen. So the nib is different, as you can see. It's kind of bent up a little bit. Um, let's try it this way. It's kind of a, a little bit of a bent up tip on it. And so these four pens I use every day in my quiet time. Uh, let me show you an example so you can see. These are the two things I fill out when I have my Bible time in the morning and my prayer time. So this journal is my soap journal. Um, and this is a notebook for its Tomoe River paper, 480 pages, seven C's cross field, and it is a dot grid. And it comes from Nanami Paper Company. So I, it takes two years for me to fill out one of these. And I just recently started doing it this way so you can see the inks. I always have the sepia, the black, the green, and the purple for the different things I lay out. And then this one is the same journal, 
same one but it's my prayer journal so I mostly just I use all of those except the green in here so that's that so you can see that and then um, I also use the purple and sometimes other colors really whatever colors are work for my personal uh, journaling faith journaling or you know when I'm going through stuff or learning stuff I watercolor the pages of this book um, this is, I can't remember who I get this from, Paper Penguin Company maybe, and I just watercolor the Kamoe River paper, and then <clears throat> I journal whatever colors um, <clears throat> match. That's what I do. Mostly purple, obviously. So that's what that is. This is a Traveler's Notebook a B6 cover by Apple... Apple pig, I think it's called. And it's purple. I love it. All right. So moving on. So that's what I use those for. So what I do then for the rest, um, let me put my cover back on here. Um, if it doesn't have a converter, like I can use these ink cartridges in my Wordsworth pen, and I think, I, if I recall, I can use them in these platinum. Are these the preppy? No, these are Sailor. Sailor. <clears throat> I have Sailor for, I have Sailor cartridges for this one, this one, this one, and this one. So these are the platinum preppy. And these are my card sailor cartridges and the different colors that I have in those. So coming back here to my list of pans, this is probably the easiest way. This is a <clears throat> platinum preppy, these two. And I can use either my converter or cartridges in them. Um, I'm kind of thinking of retiring these two anyway and not using them. That's kind of my thought on those. And these are Sailor Le Cool. This is just the clear. And this is the rose, which I just love. And they're just cartridges. And I actually keep them. I keep this one here for when I make notes in here. Or here I can write them there and I keep this one in my a6 Hobonichi um, just because it fits number one and number two because it looks so pretty I just like it and I usually leave it in and then what I do is when I because as you can see it's a tight fit I just unscrew this and write and I'll use that like here, recording my steps or just whenever, just whatever really, honestly. Maybe my like my calendar, I've used it in my calendar which I have not kept up, but I did use it, I use it here too. As you can see, I'm kind of behind. <clears throat> and I love this, this is my Techo cousin, or original. Um, A6 size. So I love this. And the cover I got on Etsy. Alright. And then I use everything else I pretty much use exclusively in my Hobonichi. My A5, which is my all things planner. And I'll pick a color and I'll go with that for a few, a couple days. And then I'll switch to a new color, and I just kind of keep doing different, um, different things, different colors. And I'll do the same in here. I'll usually repeat whatever color I'm using. I'm going to repeat in my in there. So the rest of my fountain pens are used almost exclusively for the two Hobonichi A5 and the A6 size for the most part. So I'm gonna just sh go through what all those are. So this is a Goldstone Jean Howe 100 with a medium nib. Um, very pretty. 
And I have used the shimmer ink in this before, but I'm actually going to use the copper when I get it and then have these two um, for the rest of this month and into October. And this is the Twisby. I just got this, so it's not listed. Um, I did list it over here. It's a Twisby Eco Heat. It's my first Twisby. Um, extra fine point. And it um, is my very first piston fill as well, which is really cool. I've never had one like this, and I love it. So that is filled with platinum brown sepia. This will be filled with the orange that's coming. I haven't got it yet. It's coming from... Jet pens, I think. And then the Caramel Sparkle, the other color I want to use, uh, which is this ink. I think I'm going to fill up my really fat pen. Um, this is a Jean Howe. Um, what is this one? Because this is the Gold Stone. Interesting that I don't have that. Ivory White, Jean Howe um, X750 Ivory White. And so I do wanna fill that with this, and these will be my three pans. That will be for the rest of September, and all the way, excuse me, I gotta keep my hands down here, <laughs> and all the way through um, October. So I'm just gonna set those aside. For now, those are the ones I am definitely using right now. Then I've got this Wordsworth and Black um, pen, and it's kind of the, it's a gold and ivory, um, or green and, and gold color, and it's a medium nib. So that was a gift from my daughter and her husband for Christmas one year. And then I have this beautiful pen, which I love. And this is fairly new, and I got this from this new company. I imagine I put it in here somewhere. It's a Kaigelu, Kaigelu. K-A-I-G-E-L-U, and it's a green and yellow acrylic, and I got it online through a company um, in China, I believe, that I buy from, and I love it. So pretty, so pretty. And also from them, I got this one. And this is a beautiful beautiful pen isn't that pretty and my name is on it I just love it and do I know what it's called just offhand oh the memories the memory is not what it used to be I don't see it in here and it's a new it is a new pen so I probably haven't even entered it in the book yet so I'm sorry about that I can't even tell you what it is I'm not even sure myself, so. Hmm, hmm. And it's written here, but it's way too tiny for me to read. So I'll have to fight, figure that out and put it on. But also from the same one I got the Kailu from, I got this one from. And I could probably find it in, I do like to write when I get like a new, a new pan in. And my guess is um, I got this in July. So let me just kind of flip through July and see if, usually I do kind of mention when I get a new pen. So I'm just gonna see if, if I mentioned the new pen at all in here. Probably if I switch to purple, since I put a purple in there, that
that's probably going to be my clue of when I actually got the pen. Oops, what the heck? Garbage. <laughs> Not a shock, all right? Not a shock. I should have been a little more prepared. Sorry about that, guys. But sometimes you're just not, right? Just gonna see if maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, and then obviously not because then we're going into, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry about that. That's, I definitely have to up update my pens. Okay, but anyway. It is a really pretty pen, very slim. This pen also is not on here. Um, this is really pretty, I use this for purple. I don't remember either what this one is, but I think I got it as a freebie off Amazon for rewards, and it was rough texture. So my daughter acrylic she put a coat of acrylic on it, and now it's nice and smooth, and I use that for purple as well. And then I have my two pink ones. This is the Sailor Four Seasons Weave um, on the Cherry Blossom. So pretty. Sailors are my favorite pens of all time. I love, love, love the Sailor pens. And um, this was a birthday present from my husband. And I just love it. And this one is the Jean Howe Cherry Blossom. I just love pink and cherry blossoms and that whole thing. I love it. So this is their cherry blossom and their 100 line. And last but not least, I just got this cross one, cross pen. This was also, like I said, a freebie. Um, and it's a beautiful teal color. It's a cross Bailey light, I believe it's called. And it's in a beautiful teal. So those are my pens. All done. Not the best doing there, sorry about that. Um, I do wanna just do, I do like to ink up. I have a thing where I record all my inks. So I do that here. Um, and I, the only ink I don't have in here now would be this brown one. And then um, I add it here as well. I've got a place where here I put all my inks. I don't have a ton. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, and one more coming. So that would be 14 inks. So I'm probably not going to do this bottle until I, um, well, I could just do this part of it. Um, I didn't bring water over here. Isn't this just beautiful? I love the bottle. So I'm just gonna do this part. And you can see it's just a simple brown, really. It's a nice brown, just like that. And then um, what I do, besides throwing this away, because it's a mess, maybe I'll wrap it up in some paper so I don't, <laughs> so it stays a mess in the garbage. All right, that is just, just a nice brown, really very, very simple. I will show you my inks shortly, but let me just go ahead and write what this is. This is the Platinum, so that's the brand. And I believe it says Brown Sepia. And it's a bottle. And then later I'll do the actual where I want to have water, the bigger thing here like I've been doing. But I want that to dry, so I don't want to fuss with that. Um, I do want to fill one thing before I go on, so I am going to fill this platinum with this shimmer ink. The shimmer ink, it's a Caramel Sparkle by Diamine. And they are not always easy to use. You have to shake it up good because you want all that shimmer dissolved in here before you put it in your pan. And um, for some reason, my pans don't like to suck up 
the, some of my pants don't like to suck it up into the, with the nib into the converter and I don't know why. Then whenever you use this, you need to shake your pan just to get it, the colors right. But su supposedly, you're supposed to be able to just bring it up with your pan and for some reason, these Platinums, or Jean House, excuse me, don't like to do that. So what I end up doing is just bringing it up with the converter because there's just, it doesn't want to do it any other way. And definitely want this one filled and then I just wipe it off, put it back in here. And then whenever I'm gonna use the pan because that shimmer in this pen is going to settle. So whenever I wanna use the pen, I do shake it to make sure that it's settled. I do have some difficulties with this. Um, some of the pens don't wanna start writing right away, which um, I guess that's just pens for you, right? So what I want to do, this is almost dry, is I just like to go into maybe here in the back and just give it a little shake and see if I can get it to, yeah, it's going to write right away, so that's good. And I'm using it for September. Nice. Well, I'm glad that worked out well. So yeah, that's one of my pins I will be using this entire time. All right, next, I just wanna show you quick my boxes and what what I have in them and the pins I have. I, these were the last of the pins. These are also calligraphy pins. This one is actually for drawing and there's several nibs you can put in. And these are dip pens. This is the dip pen, the Hokoro dip pen as well, which is really nice if you want to do that. And you have your nibs or your pieces, they just go, what is this doing here? Oh, here we go. There, this one I put in here. So you have just this nib, and then you have it like a, this flat, broader one. So there's two nibs. And they just fit in here and you can dip and use that's and then if you don't want that you can store it this way just for it's better for it and these are by these are by sailor actually so yeah I don't use dip pens a lot but I I have used them so you know and then I want to just show you my inks quick. Um, let me just take them out. And I already showed you some. So a sailor, the Sailor inks are my favorites. Here they are. I just have, I have the, and they're the Sailor Shikiori line, which I love. This is the Sakura Mori. So that's like that cherry blossom pink. This is my purple. Love, love, love it. And this is the Shigure, and it's a very dark, it's a darker purple. This is um, a teal, nice bright color, Yamadori. This one is the Chushu, Chushu, which is kind of a darker tone with a little bit of, I feel like a little bit of purple in it, but very dark. This is the ok Okuyama, which is another brownish type color. And this is green, the Toko, to Tokiwamatsu. So what those looked like in my journal, um, I will show you. This is the Sailor, this is the green, that's that darkish color. I guess there's more of a blue, gray, black, whatever in it. 
Um, these were samples, so that's why. But this is the shimmering one I just put in. This is the Sailor, the Okuyama. Okay, that was that one on the cover. It didn't look as pink as it really is. Here's the Yamadori, here's the Shigure, and here's the Sakuramori. And then the other two I'm gonna show you, I just showed you the Platinum, which was this one. And then I've got two Pelican ones, which are violet and dark green. And those are here. If you wanna see what the bottles look like, I'll show you. This is the Sailor Shikiori line. This is what their bottles look like, okay? And this is what the Caramel Sparkle, the Diamine ink bottle looks like. Whoops, sorry, again. Gotta watch where I'm putting things. And these are um, what the Pelican bottles look like, like this. This is a really pretty bottle as well. And then I already showed you this bottle for this brown, which is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. And I got one color coming. And hopefully I don't need any more colors because you really don't need a ton of colors. So um, hopefully I will just restrain myself. <laughs> the other things I keep on hand is like I said, I have this box. This was for the Eco, the Twisby Eco, because it's got all this like cleaning tool stuff in here. So I'm just gonna keep it in here. I figure it's the easiest. And I just, I keep my converters and nibs in here for different pens. And that's kind of what that's for. It's just a simple acrylic box. And in here I keep all of my Cartridges, just Sailor, mostly Sailor for Platinum and for the Pilot. These little ones, um, I'm just using them up. They were a, five, five different colors of Sailor, Sailor inks, just the cartridges as well. I do have calligraphy inks as well. So I have this Violet calligraphy ink. I don't really do much calligraphy, but I got this stuff. And here are my samples of the inks I still have. The Robert Oster Scorpion and the, um, oh dear. <sighs> I'm really trying not to make a mess, but I was doing really good. I did get ink on me anyway. I try and get it off so I don't get it anywhere else. But obviously, maybe this one. This is the one that seems to be leaky. A little leaky. Not sure why I have it in there. I'm going to move it somewhere else where I would use it and it won't leak. Because I must not have had it closed. Good. These are just some other um, calligraphy inks that you could use like a dip pen really is the... For a, the, a good method for these, which is why I have my dip pens. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little that. These are the ones that, like I said, I'm keeping out for this time of year. I'll fill this when I get my new ink. In the meantime, I will just store it. So, last thing, I have a case for storing the ones I use the most. So in that uh, situation, and I got this case from the same one I bought on Etsy, my two pens, um, this pen and this pen. Yeah, so usually I just do it kind of by color. So I'm, I put my, here's my green and here's the green. So when I switch to using green, these are the two colors I'm gonna use. I just, I kind of go that way with it. And then I've got my pinks. Um, so I put my two pinks here. Okay, and then this will just, that's just for a miscellaneous one. So I'm not gonna do anything with it yet. Over here, I'm just gonna put these two. 
and normally then I would have probably because okay I'm not using these so I might as well just put these two in here and then I'm going to do I have other empty one this one's empty at the moment I'm gonna put that here till I get the color and I'm gonna switch these two I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna put this right here okay and then eventually I'll probably just put this one in here or I have room for two three two so these two would probably go here and then I would probably put um, maybe this one here. But for now, I don't have to have them in here at all. So I guess for now, I'll just slip these in because I'm always gonna have this space. Okay, so these, there you go. So the only ones I'm keeping out besides the two small sailors would be these for my Bible study stuff. So that's always gonna be out and these which um, just because I put a cartridge in here, I'm using this. So this just gets used whenever for whatever. Um, actually, if you look, yeah, they just, whatever. And the two I'm using currently, so all set. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think I showed you everything. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Bye.